Hi, welcome to Pieces in Progress by Webster Art Gallery. In this video, I'll be sharing Blue Heron in Flight. From the beginning, Heron was planned as an ink piece. I started by drawing the design in pencil. You can see that the design isn't photorealistic. Instead, it's rather stylized. Ink isn't a medium that can be removed or covered up once it's on the paper, so I don't want to be guessing when I start using it. For this reason, I carefully map out each area I want to ink in. Pencil sketch is done. I have no idea how it happened, but somehow a light brown spot is on the paper, by the right wing. I'm pretty dismayed by this initially. I mean, the background is completely white, so a brown spot is going to show up badly, and I don't want to redraw my design on another piece of paper. I tried to rub it out with a bit of moisture, but it just mars more of the paper. Situations like these call for some innovation and flexibility, but they can lead to what I call happy accidents. Sometimes they are the instigators of something new and wonderful, something that wouldn't have happened otherwise. After a bit of thought, I decide that I'm going to cover it with a black dot, surrounded by a few others of various sizes. They may then be interpreted as water droplets. Now it's time to bring the piece to life, as it were. Seeing the work take on substance in ink is always exciting, but a bit scary too. Like I said, ink can't be removed or covered up once it's there, and the paradox is that if I try to be too careful, I'll actually end up making mistakes because the slower I go with the brush, the more there'll be minute shaking, and even infinitesimal bumps are visible. If, however, I'm not careful enough, I'll end up painting areas I don't want to. It's a fine line. I really like the way it's looking so far. You can see it's truly taking shape now. Almost done the hair on itself at this point. Okay, so the hair on is finished. Now for the reflection in the water. And you can see I added the small circles. I like the effect, and it all started with an unwanted brown spot. Thank you for allowing me to share Blue Heron in flight with you. If you are interested in it, another piece from Webster Art Gallery, or in a portrait commission, please visit www.websterartgallery.com. I also offer exclusive goodies and content from my mailing list, available on the website. Sign up today! This is Monica C. Webster. Thanks for watching.